Right, I think it's better if I show you like this. I have lost a lot of weight in a year. At one point, I questioned whether I had depression. Jonathan had to get me laying down like on my front, on my side. Okay, let's just ignore the fact that I have continued to film with a bun like this. So this is a new video now. Welcome to my, back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I thought I'd start the video here. This is going to be more of like a health update, life update, catch up type of thing. And I've just got to the hospital because I'm going to have my blood test, my yearly blood test for my kidneys. So I thought I would just start filming here really soon as it's going to involve a big health update. So yeah, um, I am going to be late though, so I better hurry up. But I've got me um, what Isabella would call um, a chav bun in and uh, I'm looking all beige. So this is interesting. <laughs> but yeah, people are now looking at me, so I better just go and have my appointment. And uh, yeah, I don't think also that I've got my card or remembered change for the car park. So this could be interesting. When I come out, I may not be able to actually um, get out of the car park. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, let me go in anyway, because they are going to... I forgot my ring as well. I've left my ring at home. Anyway, let me just go. Emptied my soul. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago, I was young and I'm old, still care for the void, oh, we don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Just like that, we're done. I've had my blood test. That was really, really quick. I don't think I've had an appointment that quick before. Um, but yeah, it's so funny. I just wanted to quickly say, that's why I come back on. I wanted to quickly say that when I was in there, you know how I was talking about my chavy bun that Isabella would call chav. Uh, just letting you know as well, though. Us 1990s kids actually invented the chav and I didn't realise it was a negative thing. <laughs> anyway, um, she commented on my uh, bun. She's like, oh, I really like your hair. I really like your bun. I've been trying to do a bun like that for years. And that's what I thought. I thought that everyone tries to do a bun something like this. I do as well because my hair doesn't normally do this. But I think I've worked it out if you do want the chav bun. Just letting you... A top tip if you want a chav bun um, is to use a scrunchie, not a thin hair band. So it's taken me 31 years to realise that. But even though it's not... Um, I'm literally going to look back at this as well so I can't see myself properly in this uh, viewfinder. And I'm going to look back and I'm going to find it highly hilarious when I look at this bun and I realise that I look like crap. So... And someone's just stopped beside me looking at me. Oh, my God. What are you looking at? Anyway... <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to think this is uh, horrendous. So once I give you all the tips and that and I realise what I look like when I'm telling you this, it's going to be hilarious. But anyway, I'm going to get this better now because I'm finished early so I can go and get her, pick her up, go home, get some dinner on. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you that she likes my hair. So the chav bun is staying. So hello, we're now a couple of days later, still rocking the bun look, you know. I'm having my appointment today for my kidneys, so I thought I'd pick the camera up today. I've had my blood test, like you would have seen in the last clip. Had that a few days ago, and I think they've already got the results in anyway. So yeah, today at two o'clock, I've got my appointment. Fingers crossed nothing has progressed anymore in a year. I will do like an update after of exactly how it went and stuff. But the reason I picked the camera up now is because I've got a really exciting delivery and I really wanted to show you it. It's for my living room and I've been waiting for them to come for ages and I would love to see how they look up. And they're just, they look so nice on the website. So I can't wait to see what they'll look like in my living room. So let me just quickly show you that. So I have just unpackaged them a bit and there's three sets in here. And as you can tell, they are white. I mean, what would you actually expect from me? Any other color? I don't think so. But these are a little bit different. So they're not just plain white. You will see in a minute, and I forgot to put my ring on again. I keep doing that. It's when I have a shower, I take it off. These were kindly gifted, and they're from a company called, called kgorge.com. So that's the website that comes in some lovely packaging. Um, but they were kindly gifted, so thank you very much to kgorge. Um, these looked, they had the most amazing um, curtains online. I couldn't believe how different they looked, because you know me, you know me. I love something that looks a little bit extra, but I also like plain, like white. So yeah, they come with these tie backs like that, but I am going to show you these up, so I'm going to put them up now. But I wanted to unpackage them a bit with you. So they're a lovely material. Okay, so I've got the ring, it's the ring, um, ringlet, ringlet, the ring things um, to put up, and they are just white, but they're not just any old white. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. So let me see if I can show you these because they are so white you might not see. Right, I think it's better if I show you like this. So I've just laid them out quickly. But basically they've got a netting to the front. So this is like a netted material. So it's like see-through. 
and then you've got the blackout at the back. These come in loads of different colors, by the way, but I wanted white because I prefer white, as you know, and white is really light on the windows. I don't want to make the room dark, so definitely if you're thinking of putting any white in your front room or any room, definitely go for lighter colors anyway for curtains. I always say that just because you don't want to make the room any darker. They're so beautiful and so pretty. And they do like them in pink and they do them in like a beige colour. And I was considering beige, but then I thought, no, these will go long term as well with anything if I change my decor. So I thought, and I like really light in the windows, but I wanted blackout because it's getting to that season where I clearly want to shut the world out and all of that. So yeah, let's just get them up because I keep chatting loads of rubbish. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights So I love them. I've just put them up as you've seen and look how beautiful they are. So on this window, I've got the tie backs on there. I haven't actually got these on the other walls yet. I've been saying I've been doing it for a year and I still haven't done it. <laughs> but I do really like these curtains sort of tied like that, especially at the front because it gives a lot more privacy as well, I suppose. And it just looks a little bit more framed. Um, yeah, I really, really love them. They're so beautiful. Do you know, they remind me of like wedding, like a wedding dress. They remind me of a wedding dress. But yeah, they are really, really beautiful. I'm going to show you now a couple of other ways you can do these curtains. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to leave them like this on this wall. It's hard to see because the chair's in the way, but they both do the same thing, which I really love. Oh, I love them so much. They are so, so pretty. Over on this window, as you can see, I've tied them with them ties that came with it in the middle. And I really, really love this as well. I think that that looks absolutely beautiful and it gathers it all together, um, but it lets in a lot of light and stuff. So I really like them like that as well. So there's so many different ways you can actually do these. So I've done with the heavy curtain at the back with the um, sheer curtain at the front loose so that it kind of gives that privacy and, and you know, less... I don't know, it gives that sort of privacy type thing, but it also lets in a lot of light. You can do this the other way around. That's how I saw it on the website. And I will put a little picture maybe of the one on the website so you can see how they styled it. And I've obviously got that one like so. Difficult to show you windows when you're facing the light because you need it the other way around. But I can promise you now, each one of these ways are stunning. If I can show you a little bit more, the, just ignore my garden, it's a mess. This ribbon is um, just a wired ribbon, and that's what I've used. You can use the tie backs, but I've decided to use the ribbon instead. And if you can see, look how pretty that is. It's really difficult to show. My garden's honestly a mess. Just ignore that. Um, my it really is so so beautiful. It literally reminds me of a wedding dress. This material, it really does. Leave the link below, and there is also a discount for you. So I hope you enjoy that. And yeah, they're really affordable anyway, these curtains. I absolutely love them.
oh my goodness, I recommend them so much. They have so many different colours as well. Anyways, I've really got to go to my appointment now. So I'm going to leave my curtains <laughs> and I'm going to go and see what's happening at my appointment and hopefully no progression this year. Gonna stay in this moment Gonna lay here on the grass I've been to my appointment, this is now two days later, and that's just because I did get some news I didn't expect to get. Um, I'm not going to cry this time, don't you worry, I've got this, because I've done my crying, and that's why I'm doing it two days later. So basically I went to my appointment, and there was a few things that I wasn't expect. well, I just... Let me start from the beginning. If you haven't, if you don't know and you don't have don't watch my videos, um, I got diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease, short for PK, PKD. Short version is PKD, and it is um, something that you're generally born with. Um, I'm gonna probably do a whole video on polycystic kidney disease because it, it is really difficult to understand. It is not a lot of um, awareness out there. So I think I'm going to do a whole separate thing to, to make people aware of what it is and what can happen and stuff. But anyway, I got diagnosed with that, well, it was about three, maybe four years ago now. Um, last year, they thought that it may be wrong. And it turns out last year it was right, I found out. And I was very upset in my last video. So anyone that's new and doesn't realise, that's what I'm talking about. So anyway, I've got a yearly appointment. So I have an appointment every year and have done since a couple of years ago because they used to see me every three months and then they realised I wasn't progressing really quickly so they thought it's fine, we can see her every year, which is great. Um, so I had my yearly appointment, so it's been a year, I can't believe that. Anyway, I'm going on here. So when I went there, I was really optimistic and really hopeful that I haven't progressed anymore. So they check my blood results, um, they do my blood tests and then they check my blood result and I've gone from a kidney function of 90 to 83 in a year. Um, before that, it was 90 for three years straight. So that could be something that could have progressed really quickly, or it could have just been due to progress, if you like. So nobody knows until we carry on with the appointments how fast this is going to go for me, because it's normally quite aggressive, what I have, um, the adult version of it. Um, so this is why they questioned if I had it at all last year. So that's one thing. So he's looking at putting me, which he's been telling me about for many, many, every appointment he talks about it, but this appointment he particularly talked about it because where my kidney function has dropped, he wants to send me for a scan, a kidney scan to see if my kidneys have enlarged significantly because if they have, then that's an issue um, along with the kidney function going down. So basically, um, he wants to, the first stage, so I'm basically stage two of kidney disease now, um, and he basically said that he wants the first stage of helping, because there's no cure for PKD, um, is to put me on a medicine called um, Tovaton, I think it's called, Tovaton, sure it is, I'll double check if it is wrong, and I'll put it on the screen, but um, it's a medication that's quite severe on the liver, so... They normally say that when you go on it, it's it's it's, it's the last resort. If a, it's the first resort, but last resort, if you like, they don't just put you on it for nothing because it can severely damage your liver. Um, so I've got to drink like two liters of water a day and things like that when I'm on that. The problem I've got is for many many years now, my liver function has for some reason flagged up as um, elevated, whatever the word is. And he was pretty concerned because it's been like consistently for many years and it's also right quite bad at the minute on my blood test. Um, and obviously to put me on a medicine like that is realistically a no-go <laughs> when you have a liver problem already somehow. So he did ask me if I'm an alcoholic, he did ask me if I'm a drinker and I can tell you all now, I don't drink and I told him that and I've told many people for years that it, that it must they must think my liver is quite bad um, that's what upsets me because they literally don't believe me when I say I'm not a drinker. Um, so anyway, obviously we found out I had a cyst on my liver last year. However, I did mention that to him and he said it's got nothing to do with that. Um, so he does want to do another blood result, uh, blood test to check for different things that could cause problems with the liver, different viruses and stuff like that. Um, so he's 
double he's going to be checking that so i'm i'm being referred for another blood test to concentrate on my liver and also he wants to check my thyroid because you may all have noticed i've seen a lot of, a lot of you message um and a lot of you have i've spoke to you a lot of you um about your concerns about me looking like i've lost weight and you are correct i have lost a lot of weight in a year and um it's a stone i've lost um and he notes that and i'm crying jeez i'm not gonna cry no anyway um i've got to film a haul after this you know so um i've lost a stone in a year and he's concerned about fibroid problems i've had my check my fibroid check before because this is not new to me to be slim it's not nothing new so he's checking my fibroid just to double check if not the problem is is um if i do have it something really seriously wrong with my liver um that could be a reason why i've lost weight too um and there is actually something that i've noticed for a little while now um in my eye you probably won't see on this because it's quite it doesn't sort of show the details in my eye um i do have patches of yellow in my eye and i also have um been doing a lot a lot of itching on my skin over the last few months um and just talking about how I've been this year in general, um, basically, I've not been very well. Um, there has been a lot of factors that have caused stress on my body. And I told you this last year that I can't afford to have stress. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm jumping around here, but it, it, there was so much in this appointment that I don't, I don't know how to say it all. Um, but basically, let me carry on with what he's referring me to first, and then I'll explain how I've been feeling. So he's also referring me to a cardiologist. Um, because my blood pressure is really, really high. Um, and I've been monitoring my blood pressure at home and it has been high for quite some time now. Um, I'm having a lot, a lot of palpitations, very frequent palpitations. Um, and I've been very, very tired, very, extremely tired. At one point I questioned whether I had depression. It was quite bad. Um, and it's looking more and more like um, something else now, but he's, referring me to the cardiologist so that I can have a 24 hour monitor on my heart um so if any of you have had that um yeah it's just basically and if you if you haven't had it it's you you get strapped up <laughs> um, and get your like um all of your heart rhythm and all of that sort of stuff for 24 hours straight so you go to sleep with it and everything else so they can see if they can catch an episode of anything wrong like an, like you know when you have an ECG well this is like a constant ECG for 24 hours uh, so they can see if anything happens. Yeah, I've been suffering with really bad palpitations for quite some time as well. So that's what I'm going to talk about. So basically, the reason they're concerned as well is I get them, I can get them a couple of times in a week. It's quite bad over the last few months. I'm also getting them when I'm, because I'm so tired, like I mentioned, I'm really, really exhausted. I'll go to lay down for a little while to go to sleep. You know how that sort of makes you feel better when you're tired, right? Well, I'm sort of trying to go to sleep. I'm half asleep and then I'm, I'm, my, I can't breathe. My heart is going zzz like that whilst I'm sleeping and resting. So it's crazy. Um, I was also watching Isabella's football the other day and I wasn't shouting for the football. I was literally just standing there and I had to wall back and sit because uh, I go quiet when I get palpitations because I get really scared and I have to concentrate on getting my heart back into rhythm. Um, I had that twice at football. I had it once for 10 minutes after I was on FaceTime to my mum and we, I was just doing the washing, and then all of a sudden, I went quiet, I couldn't even say to her, just, I'm sorry, like, give me a minute, I couldn't even say anything, I had to stop, Jonathan had to get me laying down, like, on my front, on my side, trying to calm it down, because um, it wouldn't, it was absolutely terrifying, I was so dizzy as well, so I've had a lot of those occasions recently, so that's why they want to check my heart, because obviously my blood pressure is sky high, so yeah, there's a lot to this appointment and I'm really gutted actually because I really went in there quite hopeful. Although I, I have been feeling unwell in the last year, but I did also put that down to depression because we've all had quite a rough couple of years, you know, and I just thought it was 2021 and we we're all just depressed about it, you know. I really did think that that's where I was going with that. You know, the lockdowns affected me. I thought my mental health was slipping. I mean, it, it is. <laughs> but I'm talking about like, I really thought that that was what that was. Like I was... I was, anyway, I'm extremely tired quite a lot at the minute. Um, so yeah, basically in a nutshell, he's referring me to a cardiologist. He's referring me to get my blood done for my thyroid and my liver. Um, and he wants a kidney scan to make sure that my kidneys haven't grown significantly. And if they have, they're going to be putting me on Tovertum. But before they do that, they have to make sure my liver's okay. And if it isn't okay, they have to fix my liver. 
and the topogen actually slows down the cysts and, and the enlargement of the kidneys which slows down it basically means that I wouldn't need dialysis um it it slows down the process to having di needing dialysis so that's basically what that is because the next stage after that if you get really bad like I'm talking levels and right down you then go on dialysis and then it's kidney transplant from there blah 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 uh, so there's a lot to it but um he can't just give that to me if I have a, a bad liver so basically I feel really old and I feel like I'm not very well I'm not gonna lie um but yeah I have been quite distant on YouTube this year and there's a lot of reasons to that then then being one of them that I'm not feeling very well but a lot of stress has triggered that um and yeah so when people have said are you okay and they're messaging me when I'm not uploading recently that was my laptop that problem but when they've been messaging me over the year when I'm not, when I'm missing uploading, they're like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, you know, busy." And mm -hmm. I am I am working as well, so I'm doing a lot. Um, but I'm not going to tell people and make people feel, you know, I don't like sad fishing. I, I can't stand that. Which is why this video is not just a health update. It's got curtains in it because this is who I am. I I want to raise awareness, which is why I keep doing these. Um, because there is there is awareness that needs to be for PKD. Um, and yes, so that is my health update and I literally didn't think it would go that way, I'm not going to lie, I didn't think I was going to, um, it's, quite, it's quite a tough time of year for me actually, every time I have these appointments it's very draining, very draining, uh, but I went into their positive and <sighs> unfortunately we don't know now what's going to happen, so now he wants to see me every three months again. Um, so he's going to see me in three months just because of um, they've got to get me the tests done. So hopefully I can get all of that. In. So he's urgently referring me to all of those things, get all the test results back, and then I'll see him in clinic in three months' time so that he can tell me the results and see where we can go from there. And he's just going to monitor me. So that is my health update for 2021. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs> no, uh, I just wanted to update this because I don't really talk about it every day and all that because to be honest with you, my YouTube channel has always been somewhere a happy place. I want it to be a positive and happy place. I don't want to come on here and do the whole um, sad fishing or, you know, stuff like that. I don't really want to do that. It's not what my channel's about. My channel's about positivity, motivation and all of that. But I have opened a can of worms last year when I did a health um, update. So I thought I'd owe it to you to keep telling you, make sure. And also... If I have some sort of, I don't have a big platform, but if I have a, some sort of platform, it's always good to raise awareness um, to, to like the charities. I'm going to leave all the uh, links in the description for the PKD charities in the USA and the UK um, and stuff like that so that you can maybe go and read up about it if you're interested or anything like that or if you're worried about any of your family members that might have symptoms of stuff and... And let me know in the comments if you do want me to do any type of video where I can explain the whole process of what PKD, PKD is, what to look out for, how to deal with it, how I feel about having it at 31, how, you know, let me know if you want a video like that. I won't film one unless I get enough people to say they want one because, again, I wouldn't want to make my channel sort of, I don't want to alienate my channel, my channel's not about that. But every now and again, it's good to raise awareness to these things because a lot of people suffer with them and there's not enough awareness for PKD in general. I didn't know about it until I got diagnosed, put it that way. It's not that um, common and there's a lot more to it, um, a lot more that I haven't shared. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here now because I've just chatted for about 13 minutes. don't know if I'm going to be able to edit any of that out. Um, but... I've also done a whole video bit before with me curtains, so yeah, obsessing over curtains. No, I do like my curtains though, they're so nice. So, it makes such a difference when you have curtains like that. Um, but yeah, I'm now going to do a haul. Um, I'm going to film my Christmas haul now, oh yes. And I'm just going to move on to Christmas like I normally do. I normally get this appointment and then what do I do? I go Christmas mad because it cheers me up. So, and that's all that matters. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Give me a big thumbs up because it really helps my video and my channel out. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.